I'm gonna show you a little trick that I bet you didn't know. You see, when you go to edit mode and you press T, you got a bunch of these tools on the side here. And this is where you got your extrude tool, inset, bevel, whatever. But did you know that every one of these tools has like a whole subset of other functions that you can use? So let's say I select this surface at the top of this little house here. And maybe I can also select this little surface down here just to prove my point. Now, if I press I, I'm gonna inset these and make a little edge here. But before I click anything, I can hold control to move this up and down. Do you see how easy that makes it to make a kind of roof shape or almost like a bevel at the top of the building? But if I inset this and then before I click anything, I press I, I'm going to be able to inset every single one of these faces individually. And now again, I can hold down control and push these in or out. Isn't that fucking crazy? But I can also inset these. And if in this little menu down here, I check select outer, it's going to automatically select the outlines of these inset areas, which makes it super easy to extrude a little roof like this. Let's say got making a little house for dust too or some shit. This is some 700 IQ shit. But let me show you something else which I bet you didn't know. I have this little ball right here. And if I select one face right now, I can press I to inset this little face. So now I just have a face which is inside of this face and it's connected around the corners. So if I select this face and I inset this before I click anything, I can press O and that's going to enable outset instead of inset. So it basically just pushes the surrounding geometry away from this face, but it also makes a new little loop around this. And now before I click, I can also press control to push this in to push this out. So we basically made a bit of space around here and we kind of extruded this out. Isn't that crazy how much shit there is with just one simple tool? But this outset thing is basically the same as inverting the selection. So we have everything except this face selected and then insetting this without any outset, just with the default inset settings. So that means when you inset something and you press O, which means you enable outset, that means you're basically insetting everything else except this face which you have selected. I'm not going to try to sit here and tell you how to use this. You got to figure this shit out for yourself. That's what my channel is about. But there are so many tools like this for every single modeling tool. This is what you get for beveling. We're not even going to get into this today. But this is the scary shit about Blender, right? There's so much that even I didn't know. I've been here for 10 fucking years. But I'm making an ebook where I'm gonna put all of this shit, every single tool, we're gonna break it down fully, and you're gonna have every modeling function in Blender in one place. So if you wanna check that out, then you can pre-order it. I'll put a link in the description. And I'll get back to you guys with some more tips. I'll see you in the next one.